shrunken head Santa. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. <laughs> Alright, well I just got done shopping over at the Goodwill and now I am here at Antiques Marketplace of Lemoyne. Um, it's been about a week since I bought my dead bird painting and I'm really excited <laughs> to see what else we can find. Um, so we're going to head in here and see what we can find to buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. Okay, well I was walking by and noticed that Hudson Bay blanket so I'm going to sneak in here. Get a closer look. Let's check this out, shall we? Is it a Hudson Bay blanket? Ow, I just smacked my head. <laughs> just this blanket, fifty dollars. I don't know. It could just be a Hudson Bay lookalike. It's got the colors. Hudson Bay usually has like a little red. Um, Dense. What am I doing? I don't think this is a Hudson Bay blanket. I think it's just looking like one. Yeah. It's nice though. Alright, I'm gonna fold it back up. I'm gonna fold it back up, trolls, and then I'm gonna put it back nicely. This is your reminder that just because I didn't film it doesn't mean it didn't happen. Okay? All right, we're gonna come over here because this is adorable. What is it? Japan. <laughs> it's a little baby in a diaper playing golf. That is so cute. This is really nice in the back. I think my eye was drawn to it because of the <laughs> because of the flower arrangement. Twelve dollars ceramic chalk with bag. Ceramic chalk. I'm confused. I'm reading. <laughs> Am I reading that? It's a ceramic chalk. I don't know, but I like it. And the other thing I like that I just happened to glance up at is this. What is this? Twenty dollars and thirty percent off. What? Wonderful. Okay. I think the cat is my favorite. Blue glass. I kind of like those for $10. $10 each. Still not a bad price. Well, this booth here is a new one. I don't remember this being here. Lots of neon in there. Sock monkeys. Okay, here we are at Blue Mold Jail. <laughs> and here is what remains of the Blue Molds. Looks like a lot of what is left is sun faded. Seventy percent off now, though. A few ceramic trees up there. That one doesn't even look like it was glazed. Looks like somebody threw some glue and glitter on that one. <laughs> right, oh, I'm neglecting this entire side of the shelf. I should check this out over here. This is gorgeous. What is that? U.S. is our hand-painted box, $34.95. It's 20% off. I'm not sure though. I found some really amazing Eldrith in this booth before. I'm going to shut down my basket. And do a little investigating. Let's see what we have back here. So glazed stoneware. German hander bite. <laughs> There's some Order of the Eastern Star. I really love those pressed flowers. 
graphics on that stein are neat. So this booth back in the corner um, is always 50% off, which I love. And I noticed this in here, covered hen on nest. I was going to say it looks like Mexico, and it is $20, but 50% off makes it $10. I'll stick that in here. <laughs> it's cute. Crafted art pottery. $16, but it's 15% off. 50 not 15 So, 8 bucks. Looks like folk art pottery. Surprise, there's no markings or signatures. I'll take that. That looks good. Made in Italy? Yeah. 38. Yeah. Leave it at half off. I don't know this one. 12. That one's got some age to it. Well, it's probably also Italian. However, there's no markings. I think I'll take that one for 50% off. There's a beautiful hand blown ornament. 1085, 50% off. I gotta be careful now that I've got glass in there with that heavy pottery. I was walking by and had to do a double take. Open. What is this? Oh, ooh, that just like slammed open. <laughs> Thirty dollars. Oh my gosh, I thought it was ceramic. That's so adorable. And then a little bit of Green Mountain pottery over here. Blue Mountain. Green Mountain. <laughs> Blue Mountain pottery. Green Mountain is coffee, <laughs> which I probably need some of right now. Fancy Christmas. Oh my gosh, the owl just dove. Christmas pitcher. Okay, you stand. Stay. That is very vibrant. Persimmon, 12 bucks. I don't see any discount on the booth. I like that for 12. A little bit of bubbles there. We'll stick that in there. Very carefully. There we go. This horse is really neat. I think it may have been a puppet at one point. Maybe. Not quite sure. And I remember when they were building this booth. It turned out really great. I love the walls. Oh, look. Turned out really nice. What in the world is this creature? It's terrifying. <laughs> Shrunken head Santa. Mm -hmm. No, thank you. <laughs> I think it may be one of those um, apple head uh, things. Possibly. It's weirding me out though. This kitty is adorable. There is a marking on it, 2000, and a pottery stamp. It's gonna be impossible to make out. 15 bucks, um, and this booth is currently running a 20% off sale. Um, I think that's doable. Cats have a tendency to sell very well for me, so we're gonna stick. Oh, it's getting a little hairy in there. It'll be fine, everything will survive. This here looks like a K French piggy. It's left in. 20 bucks. As you say, it has the characteristics of K French, but I'm not used to seeing the applied flowers um, on a K French pottery piece. So it makes sense that it would be left in because I'm used to seeing applied flowers on left in. It is adorable, but there is some breakage on the flowers, so I'm not going to mess with that. This looks kind of familiar. I currently have, by, by the time you're seeing this, I don't, but I currently at this moment have a um, 
ceramic tree listed on eBay that has a nativity inside with this feather material. Here's some art pottery. AML 1970. I kind of like the gold. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be though. $25 on that. Oh my goodness. 30 bucks. What a sweet little angel. I love this. 30 and 20% off. The expression on his face is just what makes it. I'm not sure if this one is Japan. Well, I guess if I had to guess, I would say probably. He's just so sweet. I think I'm gonna buy that. I think I looked at this kitty the last time. Um, I don't think that you can sell things from Iran on eBay. Uh, because I had a box once that had uh, Iran handwritten on the inside and it actually got kicked back. I do love this kitty cat. It's the first time I've ever seen this Holland mold piece um, with red eyes on it. And I kind of love this one. Look on here. It is a hobbyist Halloween 1850, but that is adorable. <laughs> I don't often, like, hardly ever buy hobbyist pieces unless it's a ceramic tree that's usually my exception to the rule um but this is so stinging cute i kind of love it 18 dollars 50 cents 20 percent off <laughs> i think it kind of reminds me of the um my great aunt used to paint a lot of ceramics and she used to do a lot of wooden um cut out wooden figurines and stuff as well. And I think it reminds me of her stuff. So I think I'm gonna buy this. I think I'm gonna hoard it away, my personal collection, but I think I'm gonna buy it. This spaghetti dog is absolutely adorable. I think it's an Airedale Terrier if I had to guess. And I don't think I've ever seen a spaghetti Airedale before. <laughs> $20 and 20% um, off for bring it down to 18. But if I was to sell that, I would probably expect 18 to 24 for it. So I think it's right about at retail, but I think the red bow is really what makes that. So this thing is absolutely driving me nuts, and I spent way too much time sitting here trying to figure it out. <laughs> it has these little doors with cologne in it, okay? And then it's a radio. Um, the radio does not work, unfortunately. If you turn it over, it has a little sticker that says Italy. See if I can maybe get them to focus for you. This is like Cadorso, Italy. It's $12.99 here in Kenny's booth. I'm just like, I think this could be something. I think it could be something worth more than $12.99 plus the 20% he might have. I don't know what his percent off in here is. I don't know. I'm going to take a chance on that. It's not worth spending any more time trying to research it. Okay, so I was drawn into Tamara's booth by these awesome Christmas mugs. I think they're fantastic. But then, after checking out the Christmas mugs, my eye was drawn over here. It's the perfumes. There are quite a few really nice perfumes over here, but let's start with this one. Wow. That is Gorgeous. <laughs> 28 she has on that. Um, I don't think that's broken. I think it's meant to, uh, to have that angle to it. Is there a signature? Yes. Um, shoot. <laughs> I feel like I've seen that before. But I'm not able to pull it out. Is it Truman? Truman? I don't know. 
I'll do a little bit more research on that, but that is gorgeous for $28. And I will absolutely be taking that one with me. Um, the other one is this. Matthew Buchner. The seven glass and foil. That one is a much more legible signature there on the bottom. $50 she has on this one. I feel like if we're buying one, we might as well buy the other. Um, it's always important to check the stopper because uh, when they're long like this, they can break off. So um, always check the stopper to make sure it's not broken. This one is just neat with that trident. Perfume, Taiwan Green Supper, 25 on that. And then this one has an atomizer. And that one is also signed. What is this one here? New Orleans Perfume Bottle. I don't know, I think I'm gonna stick with just these two. These are my favorites. I love the gold on this, and I love the matte finish on this. It's not shiny, it's matte. And the Mil Fiori is just so intact. It's sharp, it's not blurry. So um, we're gonna grab these two. All right, so this here is in Becky's booth and she's here with me. And uh, she says she's tried everything to get these water uh, water stains out. So I said, you know what, I'll give it a, sh a try for 30 bucks. And she said she'll, she'll give it to me for 20 to try to get those water stains out. So she's tried denture tablets and CLR, I think she said. and. Just about everything, but hasn't been able to get them out, so I'm gonna give it a shot. And if not, it's still a beautiful bowl, and if you actually use it and put stuff in it, you can't really see the the water stain. So, uh, 20 bucks. We'll take it for 20. Okay. Well, since that video was a little bit short, I decided to give you an update on the mantle. This is what we've got going on so far. I picked this guy up at Goodwill yesterday. You guys haven't seen the video yet, but that was very exciting. And I found another bottle brush tree at Goodwill for a dollar. So it's coming together. Uh, my friend John also stopped by this afternoon and dropped this off. Ta-da! I'm so excited. It's finally here. <laughs> Uh, we had this reupholstered, and the back was actually broken off. Um, but he works as a machinist and was able to um, machine parts to get it uh, back together. So the matching ottoman is at the shop. And I'm so excited. <laughs> I sat in it for the first time. Not broken. And... Yes. You can't play with that camera. Laurel's trying to play with the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh. I absolutely am in love with this. And I know it's breaking a lot of hearts because it's not, it's not black and it's not plain. But it's my chair and I like it this way. Little Spaghetti Santa my mom bought for me. She bought that when she was visiting my grandma in central New York at a thrift store for five bucks, which was pretty impressive. Okay, and now for the update you've all been waiting for. And those of you who follow me on Instagram probably already saw. Um, we have the countertops now. And today they installed some of the appliances. We have a dishwasher. There. <laughs> okay. Some of you are asking why it's so dark in here. And the reason it's so dark is because we have no overhead lighting yet. Um, the beverage center is in none of them have electric though that's going in on thursday so they're just kind of there they look nice though that's right you tell them um so the countertops were installed yesterday so excited i get home and i'm like yeah those are kind of nice until i start to notice that there's like a huge, a huge gap here and over here, I think this was really what did it for me. Was that, that chip. I can't unsee it. It's bad. Um, but fortunately, um, they are going to 
fix it. The company's going to fix it. Um, and so I don't really need to stress about it. It's going to get us through Christmas and then we're going to get it fixed. So what is, I smell, I smell smoke. <laughs> I smell something hot. Oh, it says it's drying. It's drying and it smells hot. Really hot. Okay, I gotta stop recording and figure out what's going on. That is um, what it smells like when you first run a dishwasher appliance. And okay. did they take all the. Um, I have to get my small see. Yeah, we don't have any light. If they took. Um, well, they ran it a few times before. Yeah, I think it's fine. Well, they were here. Okay. Yeah. Just smelled fine. hot. It's. Is it uh, heat? Yeah, I think Low. so. Wash, high wash, normal, the way. Yeah. I think it's fine, huh? It's that smell that appliances get the first time they use it. Okay. The stove is gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. And the new fridge? The new fridge is um, going in on Thursday. Okay, I was going to say. It's not the new fridge. <laughs> no, it's the old <laughs> fridge though. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I love that coffee bar area. Yeah, I'm really excited to set up my espresso machine. Yeah. <sighs> Looking good. Yes, Looking coming nice. along. <laughs> yeah. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.